Hi, everyone. My name is Yifan Chao. I'm a PhD of recently at Polytechnic Institute. Uh, it's my great honor to present my research here. Uh, as the most widely used indexing data structure, B plus tree powers almost all the relational database management systems. Recently, log structure merge tree has att uh, attracted significant interest as a co contender to B plus tree, mainly because its data structure could enable better storage usage, uh, space usage, efficiency, and lower write amplification. The arrival of storage hardware with built-in transparent compression could straightforwardly reduce or even e eliminate the storage cost gap between B plus tree and LSM tree. This work shows that such storage hardware can also be leveraged to significantly reduce B plus tree write amplification. Um, modern storage devices serve I.O. requests in the unit of 4 k byte LBA blocks. As a result, each, L, uh, each B plus tree page, regardless of compressed or uncompressed, must entirely occupy one or multiple 4 k byte block LBA blocks on the storage device. Uh, when B plus tree applies page compression, the 4K byte alignment constraint could incur noticeable storage space waste. But when using storage hardware with built-in transparent compression, since certain data patterns like all zero or all ones can be highly compressed, we can leave one 4K byte LBA partially filled with valid data without wasting the physical storage space. This allows data management software to employ a sparse data structure in the logical storage space without sacrificing the true physical storage cost. Meanwhile, storage hardware with built-in transparent compression could expose a logical LBA storage space that is much larger than its internal physical storage capacity. So we could classify B plus tree storage write, amplification, uh, write traffic into three categories. First, logging writes that ensure transaction atomicity and isolation. Second, page writes that persist in memory data pages to storage devices. And third, extra writes that are in, uh, induced by ensuring page write atomicity, like page journaling or page mapping table. So we can express the B plus tree write amplification with and without using built-in transparent compression storage hardware as is in questions. So W is the right traffic, and WA denotes the right am amplification. W user here uh, denotes the total amount of user data written to the B plus tree, and alpha denotes the average compression ratio. So compar comparing with B plus tree, LSM tree has a less storage space usage and smaller right amplification. But if, if we use B plus tree on storage hardware with built-in transparent compression, we could easily eliminate the gap of storage space usage. And based on the equation, we propose the three techniques to reduce the parameters, and further we reduce the write amplification. So first, to eliminate the extra write overhead and meanwhile simplify the storage management, we proposed deterministic page shadowing. Uh, for each page, B plus tree allocates double B plus tree page size amount of logical storage area on the LBA space and partitions it into two slots. For each B plus tree page, the two slots at the fixed location on the logical storage space serve memory to storage page flush alternatively in the ping pong manner. So once the page has been flushed from memory into one slot, B plus tree will issue a trim command over the, over the other slot, so it doesn't consume physical storage space. And this is the same as a conventional page shadowing, with the difference that the location of the shadow page is now fixed. Second, the second technique aims at reducing both page compression ratio and write amplification cost by page writes. So it is motivated by a simple observation. For B plus tree page, that data denotes the difference between its in-memory image and on-storage image. If the difference is significantly smaller than the page size, we can largely reduce the write amplification by logging the page modification data instead of writing the entire in-memory in page image to the storage device. And as illustrated in this figure, among the, all the key elements, 
uh, among all the key segments, the first segment is a page header, and the large, uh, last segment is a page trailer. F is a key bit vector denotes which segments have been updated. So suppose a page update uh, uh, causes header, causes, causes uh, suppose a page update causes modification of the third, third, element, uh, third segments and page header and trailer. When a B plus tree evacs this page from the memory, it contrasts the data as PM1, PM3, and PMK, and writes, uh, and writes data as the k-bit vector f to the dedicated 4K byte block, which is further compressed in the storage device. We also define a threshold T. So once data is larger than T, we will reset the process by flashing the entire up-to-date page to storage with data equals zero and f being all zero vectors. The third design technique aims at improving the redo log write amplification. So this is a conventional implementation of redo logging, where log records are tightly packed into redo log and consecutively and some consecutive transactions commits could flash redo log to the same LBA multiple times. And, and here is a proposed sparse redo logging. Its basic idea is very simple. At each transaction commit and its corresponding redo log memory to storage flash, we always pass zeros into the in-memory redo log buffer to make its content 4 byte aligned. As a result, the next log record will be written into a new 4K byte space in the redo log buffer. Therefore, each log record will be written to the storage device only once, leading to a lower write amplification compared with the conventional practice. So we ran all the experiments on a server with a 3.2 terabyte scale flux computational storage. This drive carries out, uh, carries out the hardware-based Zlib compression on each 4K byte block directly along the internal IO path being transparent to the host. And for the purpose of demonstration, we implemented a B plus tree referred to as B minus tree that, that incorporates our proposed three simple design techniques. Uh, to facilitate the comparison, we also implemented a baseline B plus tree that uses the conventional page shadowing. Moreover, we also, uh, we also considered the RocksDB and WearTagger as representatives of LSM tree and normal B plus tree. So we first carry out experiments without taking into account of the benefits of sparse redo logging uh, by setting the redo log flash process per minute. The data set we use is 150 gigabyte with one gigabyte cache memory. We also consider three different record sets, 128 bytes, 32 bytes, and 16 bytes. Uh, we use two different page sizes, uh, 16 kilobytes and 8 kilobytes. DS here uh, is a segment length of localized modification logging. So since both WireTagger and our own baseline B plus tree use page shadowing, they have very similar write amplification. Compared with RocksDB, normal B plus tree has a much larger write amplification, uh, where our B minus tree can essentially, uh, essentially uh, close the B plus tree versus LSM tree write amplification gap. Since we use the log flash per minute policy, the overall write amplification of both normal B plus tree and B minus tree tends to be dominated by the page compressibility and write amplification caused by page writes. Uh, in the case of normal B plus tree, write amplification caused by page writes proportionally increases as we reduce the record size or increase the page size. Uh, therefore, the write amplification of normal B plus tree almost linearly scale with the page size and the inverse of the record size. Uh, in the case of B minus tree, the write amplification not only depends on the record size and page size, but also depends on the threshold T and the segment size DS. Hence, the write amp amplification of B minus tree tends to sublinearly scale with the page size and the inverse of the record size. In contrast, due to the nature of LSM tree, the write amplification of RocksDB is weakly dependent on the record size. As the number of clients, uh, clients' writes increases, the write amplification of normal B plus tree noticeably reduces because of the larger probability of page flash uh, collapsing under higher workload concurrency. In comparison, the write amplification of B minus tree 
is much more weakly dependent on the number of client threads because the probability that different client threads modify the same segment inside a page is much smaller than the probability that different client threads modify the same page. So next we carry out uh, further experiments by switching the log flash per minute policy and the, uh, under which the proposed sparse logging can noticeably contribute to, the, to reducing the rate amplification. Compared with the experiments under the log flash per minute policy, the rate amplification of B minus tree remains almost the same, while the rate amplification of the other three cases noticeably increases, especially when the number of client threads is small. Because of the higher log induced rate amplification, as a result, B minus tree can can more efficiently, uh, sorry, as a result, B minus tree can more effectively close the B plus tree versus LSM tree rate amplification gap and be able to achieve better than RocksDB rate amplification under more scenarios. So here we evaluate the speed performance. This, view, this figure shows the mirror TPS with running uh, random branch scan queries. B plus tree and B minus tree have noticeable, uh, noticeably smaller difference in terms of the range scan performance. This is because the two overheads of B, uh, B minus tree can be amortized among the records covered by each range scan, like fetching an extra 4K by block and in memory page reconstruction. In comparison, RocksDB have has noticeably worse range scan throughput performance than others because range scan invokes reads over all the levels in LSM training to very high read amplification. And here is a random write, uh, random write speed performance. The performance of B plus tree and LSM tree is fundamentally limited by the write amp amplification. Therefore, by sig significantly reducing the write amplification, B minus tree should be able to achieve much higher write speed performance. So this work suggests that the arrival of such new storage hardware warrants a revisit on the role and comparison of B plus tree and uh, LSM tree in future data management systems. And with the new storage hardware, B plus tree can use sparse, sparse data structure without sacrificing the true physical storage cost. It can reduce B plus tree rate amplification over 10 times and make uh, LSM tree much less appealing. Thank you.